Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. Six five, two hundred twenty pound shooting guard Shondi Brown played three years at Wake Forest out of the ACC, and now has chosen to transfer. He has a pretty short list right now, including Gonzaga, Illinois, Iowa State, Michigan, LSU, to play his fourth and final year. Not a grad transfer, so may have to set out due to NCAA rules. His player comp is going to be Marcus Smart. They both shoot the ball with confidence from three, but they're a tad bit streaky. But they both bring a lot of energy the entire time on both ends of the basketball court. Their strengths lie in their defense, their energy, their toughness, and being very aggressive, whether on ball defense or taking the ball to the cup. Coming out of high school, he was ranked number 36 nationally in the 2017 class and ranked as the number six shooting guard. This is as of the, this is the 247 composite. When he signed to Wake Forest, he became the highest ranked player for that school since 2008 and the first top 50 recruit since 2009. Being the biggest recruit in years, Shondi was hopefully, you know, a sign for the Wake Forest fan base that things were turning around for Wake and for then head coach Danny Manning. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned at Wake Forest. The Demon Deacons continued their struggles. In his three years, his most memorable game came against Duke, where Wake Forest scored 113 points in double overtime and Brown ended up with 24 points and nine rebounds on 67% shooting. Wake Forest was 35 and 58 while Brown was there, 14 and 42 in the ACC. Because of this, Danny Manning was let go as the head coach and Wake hired Steve Forbes out of East Tennessee State and Shondi announced his intentions to transfer. What type of player will he be once he makes his decision? We'll see how his role expands or specializes based on where he goes. But at Wake, like I said, a little streaky from three, but his shot isn't broken and he isn't shy about shooting open shots. He was a really nice rebounder, second on the team in rebounds and one of the top guard rebounders in the ACC. He was the third leading scorer in his final year, and that was by making less than one three per game. He's best being aggressive and putting pressure on defenses. Excelled at attacking the rim and getting to the line. Then he uses his body control and big frame to finish through contact. This is evident in his free throw attempts. He was one of the best in the ACC in free throw attempts per game for shooting guards. I still think his on-ball defense and physicality are his best attributes by far. His height at 6'5 and 6'8 wingspan allows him to guard multiple positions effectively, just like Marcus Smart. Very active defender on the ball. At one point in his freshman year, he allowed only 26 points in 51 possessions. That would rank in the 94th percentile in on-ball defense. He's not finesse. He is not finesse at all. He's a blue collar player, a bruiser and a workhorse. He's lost a lot in his first three years. Now, all he wants to do is win. Dan Dockage, can't guard me.